A few months ago, I noticed something strange in my home assistant setup. A Bluetooth toothbrush popped up on my network. The thing is, I don't own a Bluetooth toothbrush. After it appeared a few more times, I realized it must belong to one of my neighbors, likely the one closest to my office. Now, I don't typically condone connecting to devices that you don't own, but I'm friendly with my neighbors and couldn't resist this opportunity to have a little harmless fun. I adopted the toothbrush into Home Assistant and paired it with an exterior light facing my neighbor's house. The idea was simple. Whenever they brushed their teeth, the light would turn on. I wanted to see if they'd make the connection between the light on my house and their toothbrush activity. For several days, I noticed the light triggered on and off in the mornings and evenings. And then one day I lost the signal. I'm still waiting for it to return before I mention it to my neighbor in case a part two of this video is possible in the future with his genuine reaction. But beyond this fun little anecdote, I think it illustrates how powerful Bluetooth proxies can be in Home Assistant. Normally, Bluetooth has a pretty limited range, maybe 30 to 100 feet, and it often struggles through walls. But with proxies, that signal gets relayed over Wi-Fi, dramatically increasing both the range and reliability. One of my favorite devices for this is the Atom Light from M5 Stack. It's a tiny device, usually under $10, and it's all you need to get started with Bluetooth proxies and Home Assistant. Just plug it into a USB port, flash it with the pre-built Bluetooth proxy firmware using ESP Home, and follow the on-screen prompts. It's literally that easy. And once it's on your network, Home Assistant will automatically detect it and start picking up Bluetooth signals nearby. I've got these little proxies scattered throughout my house, and I'm able to reuse some old USB bricks and some USB-C adapters to make some really tight packages that I can connect to an outlet or an extension cable. And this is a good reason to never throw power bricks away. You never know when an arrangement or a particular size will come in handy for something like this. And not only do these little guys extend the reach of my Bluetooth sensors and devices, but they've also made my room presence detection way more accurate by tracking the Bluetooth signal from my Apple Watch. Bluetooth proxies may seem like a niche or overly complex feature, but the truth couldn't be further from this. They really do open up an entire new layer of home automation. If you're already using Bluetooth proxies, I'd love to hear down in the comments how you're using them. And if not, maybe this is the time to try it out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.